Hello, Connective. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. Let's tap in, mother. <laughs> Let's tap in, y'all, real quick. All right. Let's see. What's the message? What y'all need to know? What y'all need to be aware of? Okay. okay. Somebody like shit, 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 shit. Maybe somebody spilled something on you. Spill something on yourself. Uh, somebody is like, oh, like maybe somebody trying to hide something or hide themselves or somebody was seen or something like that. They like shit, 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 shit. Like, is somebody stalking you or something like that? Ah, oh, shit. So we got black magic, love spell, curse, hex, something like that. Somebody is stuck or there's a delay to something. Hangman. Somebody could be trying to get out of dodge or something like that. A hex, a curse, or something that's causing a delay for somebody. <sighs> Man. Yeah, they feel like they about to lose everything. Because they stuck. They don't know what to do. Bad luck. It's like, oh, damn. Like, somebody could have... It's weird. Like, they were, like, either projecting some energy at you. It's like some sort of projection or... And you vanished. Y'all, I don't know. And they like, oh, shit. Who is this older lady? This an older lady. She like caramel complexion. <clears throat> With a low cut, like a sugar bush. Or she don't have any hair at all. It looks like a lady. And I see a young man, like a... He in his 20s, 30s, late 20s, early 30s, like 34, 35. He got like a, like ball shorts on and a white beater. <clears throat> and something about their eyes. All right. They feel like they got caught. Okay. Maybe somebody was using a grandson to lure you in or something like that. Hmm. I don't know. I, I just see something about their eyes. Maybe something has to do with the eclipse because their eyes are like orange, like yellow or orange or something like but it's like a, a crescent like <laughs> I don't know something is being eclipsed out and they feel it or something like somebody could have they couldn't hold a glamour and you seen their true self or something like that they couldn't hold a glamour hmm <sighs> Okay, the Hierophant. So this could be a leader of a cult. Yeah, this person is power hungry at this time or they was doing too much. The Emperor in the reverse is really, really in their ego right now. They feel like they have to do something to you. It's like, I have to do this to you. It, it, it just got to work or some crazy shit, y'all. I don't know what's going on with these people. But they don't like the fact they can't hold a glamour or they can't hold some sort of energy. They can't hold the light. Okay. The glamour could be the light. They are very dark and they can't hold the light. Something about their eyes. 
And then um Ember. So Embers. So Burning. Um something about their eyes. Your light is like maybe burning something or burning someone. I don't know who this main male is. Like I said, it could be an older woman and a man that's working together. They under judgment. Could be January 30th, could be significant. Or somebody been doing something for 30 days. Some sort of ritual for 30 days. A thief on the 24th to the 30th. From the 24th to the 30th, they've been trying to take something. From an official person. Somebody's under judgment. Alright. What's the higher event? The occult. Pathway is in the reverse. They don't have access to something. Is above, so is below. That's what I'm getting with this. So the tables are turning, the wheel is turning, something about uh, alignment. Because it's really dark if you look at it this way. Somebody feel like something is crashing down on them. Because there's something opening, a portal is opening, or <clears throat> and the light is coming through it's to shine on some sort of darkness. Because if y'all looking at it, how I'm looking at it, don't they look like you walk? You could walk straight through that light. <sighs> wow. So, an occultist knows that they're off their path or they're not in alignment for something. Something is out of alignment. They're not in alignment because they're being seen. Wow. Yeah, sudden wealth. In the distance, unexpected income. This has this person in their thoughts about somebody being held in high honor that they live with. Something could be coming to an end in the community. A marriage is in bad health right now because they was expecting great fortune and a gift through this courtship in particular. And whoever they worked with, occupation, somebody is in despair, very concerned about a situation maybe somebody could be moving out a child could be moving out something could be changing in their energy your energy something could have had something to do with children somebody could have tried to use children against you but something changed you moved on somebody wanted you in a saddened state some because you're not sad about something it's something isn't working for them and they feel like they want you to feel bad about yourself or bad about a situation that you don't. And you don't care how somebody see you or view you or something. That's like, what? Like somebody was expecting, like that was the go-to. You know how somebody has a, um, whatever this is, it's like the focal point, Okay. The focal point was darkness for someone, for you to be in this depressive state, all right? Somebody could, um, like, my condolences if something happened to someone's children, all right? Um, and this is the kind of person that will bring it up, but they're doing, this is, wow, that's messed up. Somebody would bring it up, like, I'm so sorry, yeah, I know you're still healing from, I'm so, but they're not really sorry. You know, you could have lost a son is what I'm hearing for some of y'all. And they're like, I'm so sorry, you know, for your loss. But it's to keep a wound open, but you're healed from it. You're like, I don't, you know, 
you don't feel no way about it. And if you say that to somebody, you don't feel no way about it. You know, they like, they want you, oh, like, oh, what kind of mother are you to not feel a way about it? Oh, you're a horrible person for not to hold on to a memory that hurts you. That is such a bad parent. That's bad parenting. Like, this is what somebody is saying. <laughs> like, somebody is trying to push a button that doesn't exist and they don't understand why doesn't that exist like what kind of healing did you do for that not to hurt you still like I don't you know I don't know I don't know this is some strange ass energy so now that that path somebody's able to cross over somebody could be able to move on with their life yes there's no unfinished business something i don't like somebody trying to figure out like how the hell did you do that how did you see the lighter side of the situation why are you uplifted still or how are you uplifted somebody's trying to figure out how are you not sad about that moment in time because that was their focal point. And if you're not hurt by that, it was pointless for them to do all that. It's like pointless now. Because it's like, well, what the fuck? What do you care about? Somebody don't know what you care about. And I feel like it's not y'all don't care. It's just life moves on. Why sit there and, you know, harbor anger, resentment, strife, guilt, sadness, grief. For things that you can't hold. Something that's not tangible at this moment. Somebody wants you to fight for it. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Listen. Somebody wants you to wanted you to fight for something. And you like, I uh, know, it's in God's hands. Like, what? This ain't God's hands. Like somebody looking at you like you're weird. It was supposed to destroy you. It wasn't supposed to be, oh, it's in God's hands. They like, you're weird. They're weird for wanting you to be sad about something. Like, what the fuck is that? That's weird as shit. Like, people heal. Like, it's okay. And by you not harboring resentment for this, because that was supposed to block your path, by the way. Or anger, or sadness, or grief, or any of this. And you throwing your hands up to the situation. It got somebody scratching their head. Because they don't understand it. That kind of, that level of healing, like. It don't hurt no more. They don't understand that. Why doesn't it hurt you? So somebody could have been working on things you love. And it don't hurt. Hmm. So somebody could be feeling like you're heartless. Somebody trying to pull emotions out of you that you just don't, you know, you're neutral. That's wild to somebody. You being neutral is wild to somebody collective. When it comes to stuff. I don't know. Somebody feel like you, something ain't right. <clears throat> like, how did you, because you have the way, you have, you have, you have some sort of guidance towards your spiritual throne. Compass and spiritual throne, you know you're going the right way. They want you to think you're going the wrong way. They want you, they want, somebody wants you to feel like you post this. You have to stop in your tracks and turn around because you missed something. You didn't. Like, look at this. Look at this. You're supposed to be fighting for your, if you're, like, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, I don't know. Maybe something happened to somebody's child or something for real. You're supposed to be fighting for their honor. You're supposed to be fighting for justice for them. You're supposed to be doing that. Who says that that's what you're supposed to be doing? 
Who is in agreement with that? Is that an agreement with your heart? It isn't. You put it in God's hands. They're fighting for your karma. They're not well for your karma. Yeah, they're fighting for that. They're fighting for that. God, God, God got you. <laughs> so I'm confused why this person is hell bent on. And this causes a disruption in their life because you're not fighting for karma to be served. You know that it's not in your time. It's in God's hands. So I'm confused. What is, who is this person? Maybe this is someone someone hired to do something to y'all. And they like, it gotta be an angle. It gotta be. It's not, though. They realizing, they gonna realize it's not. <clears throat> yeah, because you learned something that was very um important. Because the scare tactics stopped working. Somebody is like, everything that they've been doing since whenever, it's not working anymore. Some sort of level of um, peace or something. Right ear ringing. Some sort of level of peace or something. Ah, maybe because you know what somebody's objective is. Okay. Maybe you know the objective. It's to slow you down, put you on the wrong path. Them trying to put you on the wrong path, they got on the wrong path. If that makes sense, they on the wrong path because they try to put you on the wrong path. It's like somebody trying to sell you something. <laughs> Chasing you to sell you something. Hey, hey, you want to buy this? And you're very clear that you don't want to buy it. You already, you already know you don't want to buy it. So whatever narrative they spinning, you don't, you're not purchasing that narrative. <clears throat> and the only way it'll work is if you buy it. It's like, you sure you don't want this shiny, you know, you sure you don't want this narrative and it's a trap. Absolutely not. Something was supposed to trap you in your mind about something and you just, oh, I wish little Bobby Jenkins was still here. Oh, 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 oh. I miss little Bobby Jenkins. Oh, God, uh, why me, Lord, why me? That's how somebody wants you. You know, if this is either, like I say, if somebody passed away, whether this is somebody that you really love, a kid, a child, a person that was really near to your heart, or this person, or you fighting, uh, somebody fought you for custody, for some of y'all, and it was like, okay, well, there you go, have fun. Like what? You're not gonna fight back? You don't wanna you don't wanna tell everybody how horrible I am? Like yeah, that's some weird energy. <laughs> this is some weird ass energy, y'all. Who is this? <sighs> and because you are not up for the fight. You're a horrible person. You just are just terrible in their eyes. They're the only person that feel like that. It's like six people, maybe, at tops. <laughs> somebody is like weird. This is strange, y'all. Yeah, somebody is addicted to doing something. Addictions and promise. Maybe because they promised somebody you was going to be on an attic? What? How are they going to force somebody to be a, a, a addict or addicted to something? Like, what the fuck? What is wrong with these people? Like, somebody really wanted your life to go in the pooper. Somebody's trying to force you to be an addict, force you to something, to be weird. What is this? And they like, what the fuck? Love here and now. You standing on on, on business in love right now. Oh, 
somebody, yes, teacher. Okay, here and now. Somebody is a teacher of love. Like, they want you to feel like love don't exist. It do. Love exists within all of us. That's where it starts off first. In yourself. If it don't exist, it don't exist in you. So, hmm. You need to reevaluate that. <laughs> So they, this is a person that feel like, oh, if, if you're not getting love from somebody else, it don't exist. Strange. What else? Here and now. What else? Holy Spirit. My spirit. We got visitation. Wholesome. I'm trying to figure out how are you this wholesome after, like, I understand tragedy is supposed to turn, change people, you know, but sometimes it changes people for the better, you know? Tragedy, sometimes it's supposed to change you for the better. All right? But somebody doesn't know how it changed you for the better because the shit that you went through, you wasn't supposed to come back from. I'm sorry. Like, bitch, how dare you not be strung out somewhere with a needle in your arm? How dare you not be like that? Like, that's wild. And we we really did. We really put our foot on your neck for a long time. Like, they've been trying to break you like you're a fucking dog. Like, seriously, somebody's been trying to break someone. Like... So you can be with your, your tail between your legs energy. And it's not working. It's like every, and if they, like every time, okay. So they're saying basically, if that did happen, if they did break you at one point in your life, it transformed you into something bigger. It was supposed to make you smaller. So somebody's trying to figure out how come, ah, because yes means no and no means yes in your world. They don't understand that chemical imbalance. That's how somebody's looking at something. Like it's a chemical imbalance because you're backwards. I don't know. <laughs> and not in the literal sense of no means yes and yes means no. All right. Somebody knows something is like, and they can't understand that formula. So if you get a no, you don't stop. You keep growing. If something is too easy, you look at it like, what the fuck is this? If something is too predictable, it's like, really? Like, okay. Like, you can see things clearer than most. Of course, you, you could be a very intuitive. You could be a uh, seer, you could be an earth angel, star seed, whatever, but somebody knows. Huh. You're going towards some sort of love energy. High vibrational energy. Somebody knows this. They're woke to that. Huh. all up in your business asking too many questions wanting to know every single detail woke being aware knowing what's going on in the community or in humanity Somebody trying to figure out how many people about to go through this portal. I think it's bigger than that. Than one person. Each and every one of you guys may have went through something on this planet. And somebody's trying to figure out how the fuck is word of mouth aligning people in this love energy. And they're looking at the people that are promoting love 
and what happened to them in the past, what they went through, what did they experience, how could they knock you down before this portal. They've been doing this for a while, apparently. And that makes sense with the eyes because, like I said, they were crescents. All right. Wow. Wow. Like, it was like um, black, but a uh, crescent. Like orange gold, like a gold. Hmm. What hemisphere do you have to be in? For that <clears throat> wherever you are in the world i'm here in new hampshire pennsylvania because that's where they're coming they're trying to find those that are wholesome and full of love so you could be getting downloads, okay? This is getting bigger than that. So so you could be about to get a download, a dream, a something. Um, that's going to give you... Because somebody is working with an entity or a, a higher being. An occultist is working with uh, someone that's coming to visit. I heard bingo. And they want to make sure they connect with those that are only the love frequency. And you can't have any hurts in your heart. Because somebody thought he was repressing something, but you don't. Your heart is pure. Your heart is clear. So you got the go ahead. You got so you got the you're chosen by them. They're choosing you. They chose you already. <clears throat> wow. And there's some sort of protection coming with that as well. Your heart had to be light as a feather to go through this portal. And collectively, those that are in the love frequency, we are becoming one. Meaning we're going to be connected to the all, like more connected to the all that is and all that will ever be. Infinite possibilities, infinite abundance, infinite. So somebody was looking for those that hold the light. Huh. And if you get this download, if you get this dream, if you if they show up in your dream, show up in your world, they looking for those that hold the light, that are healthy, that are on their spiritual throne and that hold the light. what I'm hearing y'all yep marriage and fake in the reverse because something can't be fake so you have to be real you have to be authentic in order to get this union and somebody knows that you're not fake you're 100% real and you hold the light you are the light and somebody finds it fascinating because the rapture is here that's what I just heard I gotta get the messages so it's about to be huge event of course because this portal is coming and it's huge it's on a larger scale than life itself 
We got love. What's this? <clears throat> wow. Someone is crying over you and they trying to hide their emotions. A slacker that was hooked on hiding their emotions is going to be crying or is crying. We got love. Someone who avoids doing the work and prioritize. So these are slackers. People that's left behind. That had some that was addicted to something or someone. They were hooked on not showing emotions. People are gonna cry this day. These are people that are hooked on not showing emotions. Can't read them. Somebody's crying over someone. So people could be very emotional at this time. Is people going to be very emotional on this emotional on this day? All right. Wow, because somebody is breaking, they lost a connection. It's like they lost their bestie. They lost their best friend. They're going to feel it. So this is people that may have done things to you in the past leading up to this event. They're going to be crying because they know they lost you. Forever. Because you are a being of love. And this person thought that they could take shortcuts. By perfecting fakeness. We got stalker. So you definitely, somebody is definitely stalking someone. <clears throat> Here and now. What's happening right now? Here and now. We got the visitation. People visitate, visiting the wholesome. Here and now. So this is y'all, right? And y'all have the pathway. Y'all got the, the, the coordinations. And these are the people that you loved. That were slackers. That was hooked on acting like they didn't have feelings. They're going to be crying. Here and now. What's going on here and now? 11th house. One social group. Friendships. Personal affliction. And social life. Tenth house. So somebody knows about your tenth house. Amucha. Okay, here and now. <sighs> somebody know you're talking good shit about these contracts that's happening. So here and now, someone in your social life know you are you know what you're talking about. When it comes to these bad contracts people made, when it came to those that, because you keep shining, they're like, you're like irritating their demons. What else? Here and now. Somebody can't act the fool. Somebody cannot act a fool on this. Daydreaming. Someone cannot get you off of their mind. Attracted to you. Constantly thinking of being with you romantically. Like somebody can't act a fool. So you talking good shit. Somebody, they can't act crazy at this point. This person really. So people that act like they didn't have feelings. It's as much love that's a being that's happening right now. Collective. Through, with the whole collective all over the world. If y'all haven't noticed, I have never, ever, never, ever, ever seen so much buzz about an eclipse in my days that every single person on the in the world is lining up for. People are traveling. 
for this moment. And it's not like a, oh, I don't, oh, they're excited. People are traveling with excitement and love in their heart. Everybody want to come together for this very moment in excitement and love. You know what that means? Since when has this world had that all at once and that many people and that much and that amount of magnitude of love that's being exuded out of everybody? Because we're excited. That's that's a part of love. People are excited for this eclipse. It's not just another day. People feel like this is it. And they can't wait. People booking flights and you would think, you know, to go into places they never been before. For this eclipse. Okay? It's a big fucking deal. Okay, <clears throat> and there could be a narcissist that has receipts that they have receipts. Someone that's been keeping tabs, keeping all your details ignored. Their hidden agenda of a spiritual hater, they're being ignored. So people that had hidden agendas that it's like they, everybody's attention is turned into love. People that was in this narcissist energy, they're being drowned out. So they feel like they're not a part of the collective no more. So it's giving that rapture energy again. Somebody feels like they're not a part of the collective. Because the collective is in love. Going towards love. We doing things that we love. We working out of love. All the love bombing. Fake love. That shit is over there. It's, it's stuck in the dirt. So somebody feel like. If this somebody was trying to hex or curse somebody on this because it's the new moon as well. It's too much love going on right now for that, that even to manifest. It's too much of that energy being projected. It's too much love energy being projected right now. And there's nothing they can do about it. And with that love energy being projected, it's sending a signal. To the ethers. Which is causing catastrophic events on this planet right now. The earthquakes. <clears throat> to be specific. Earthquakes been happening in places that's never happened before. It's due to the shift. And the density. On this planet. I bet you if you got on the scale the other day and <clears throat> you weighed yourself, I bet you you about five pounds lighter today due to gravity. The higher we go, the heavier things on this planet is going to be. This is beautiful. But people that can't breathe up here because it's dense, but the air is thicker, right? People that can't breathe this energy, right? It's already people having uh, respiratory problems. Those that are, um, that's what... Most spiritualists, gurus, um, yoga instructors. That's remember when that uh, breath work people start doing breath work. We never heard about breath work until X, Y, and Z. The reason behind breath work being pres like being introduced to the world is due to the gravity, due to the change of air flow here on this planet due to the vibration being raised on this planet. It's like being drawn to. It's like this planet is like a being a magnet and it is it's being drawn to something uh, that's of a higher more potent more happier more lighter 
frequency. So it's drowning out all of the dents. So I'm trying to, it's, it's drowning out something that was very dense. You know, hate, anger, resentment, all of that is dense as fuck. Right? So it seems like some sort of balancing of the scales. So something that was off kilter here is being shifted back into place. But it could be causing people that are on a lower frequency some sort of like pandemonia. I don't know. They're being drowned out. Their hate, their anger is being ignored. Wow. And those that try to act like they didn't have feelings at all is being magnified times 10 due to the love frequency that we're on. So there's nothing that anyone can do to shift that at this time. It's nothing that they can do. So people could be trying to annoy those that are in that love frequency. But it's not working. They just look stupid. We got visitation. <clears throat> we got sabotage. Visitation. And sabotage. Fate versus house. Because something ain't fate. They sabotage themselves because something is not fate. Something is real. One sense of, in the first house, Aries. And we are in that um, Aries energy already. One's first impression that they give off, you are very authentic. You can't, people can't be fake right now. It's hard to be fake right now. If somebody don't like you, you're going to pick it up. If somebody is being weird, you're going to pick it up. There's nothing that they can do. They look crazy. They better count their days. They better be happy for the time that they have. Because it's a sifting happening right now. A sifting of energy. If you don't have love within yourself or in your heart, people are getting weeded out. That's what's happening right now. People that are on some dark energy, even if they were pretending to be a good person, they're being sifted. They, you can't be fake right now. You People are showing up as they true, authentic selves. So if they're a, <clears throat> a man child, they're showing up as a man child. If they are a distorted feminine, they're showing up as a distorted feminine. They can't fake it, like mask off. And it's due to the visitation. It's due to what the shift is that's happening on this planet. It's due to that. And it's going to expose all the dark corners, all the dark spots. And it's going to make them look at themselves. And they might break down into endless sadness, endless grief, regret, like everything. Just like a flood of emotion for those that walk around with the poker face. That thought that they can get through life without taking accountability. Or they thought they could get through life with something. All the thing they're going to get is karma. Because that's what's brewing right now. Any injustices, they're going to have to pay that shit back. And there's nothing that they can do. Reputation, fake in the reverse. Somebody know that something ain't fake. And they're jealous. That's fine. 
They're jealous that they're being ignored. <laughs> they're hitting agenda. A spiritual hater. Hating on your beliefs, not liking your untraditional uh, and uncom untraditional ways and uncomfortable with your spirituality. That's fine. This false twins is going to be stressed out. They stressed out. They was unimpressed, but now they having money problems due to your ranking in society. They was playing games. When it came to your employment, they could have watched people try to do something to you out of jealousy. That's fine. They're going to have to pay for that. That's okay. We got wholesome. Because they thought evil would get them what they wanted. But they're being ignored. They're the ones that's going to be ignored. But what's not, what's not going to be ignored is their inability to change that's what's going to that's what they that's what they're going to be judged on their inability to be flexible their inability to change to love themselves more it ain't about you collective it's about them and no part of no matter what part of the world they live in no matter what they believe in everybody is all all of us collectively is going to have to answer when they call. It's a thing. It's a whole thing collective. No more faking it till you make it. Who you really are is going to be seen. And they'll never be able to glamour or put a mask on again. Wholesome. Because they watch somebody sitting back, watching it all happen. Not standing up for someone that was being hurt or abused. This person was a hater that wanted to copy your style when it comes to your fourth house. So... Somebody that pretended to be wholesome could have watched people try to do stuff to you. You know? Because they also wanted to see someone knock you down the size. And it's not like you're walking around like, I'm better than you and you and you. It's just more so, ill. Like, how come you love yourself so much? Ugh. Stop loving on yourself. It's nothing that you're doing directly to these people. It's just a simple fact of the matter is you love yourself and they hate themselves. And that's what's going to be magnified to them. How much they really hate themselves. Whether they want to see it or not. What they've been running from. What they've been avoiding. It's about to be so beautiful, y'all. They need this transformation. They need if this is the way that God had to force people to change, then that's what's gonna happen. It's like by hook or by crook. If you want to survive on this planet, then you're gonna have to get with the program and start loving yourself and realizing that the reason who you really hate is not that person and their spirituality or their untraditional ways, it's how you feel about you. It's like a big magnifying glass. Look at yourself. It's going to be like 10 times intense. It's happening already. But for those that were stragglers and slagglers and old stuck in their ways, old this is that, you're not, it's not going to be good for them. They could health problems could arise. Like I said, due to the climate change, due to everything, like people going to really be like trying to figure out what's happening to them. And why was they left behind? Hmm. What is this? What else? 
We got divination spying. Somebody got a reading done. Could have found out about your 10th house. Role model. And these could have been people, meddling friends, family members, people you probably didn't know that knows that you're too intelligent to be always under the influence. And lack account. So once again, and lack accountability. Careless about the consequences of your actions and can't rely on them. You're very reliable. So somebody could be walking away. You could be walking away, keeping your distance from a hater that feels like you're beautiful, but this person has a split personality. All right, they could have had no limit to how far they would go to do something to a role model. So somebody's just looking at them like, you know, to the role model. So it don't matter if you want a platform or whatever. You're being a pillar in your community. The only one in the community that's super spiritual, that constantly meditates. You cleanse your energy. You uh, all tune to the divine. You, you know, pray every morning. You pray every night. You pray a lot. You get. You have a good relationship with God and you have a good relationship with Mother Gaia. You, you have a good relationship with uh, those that are in the same vibration as you. You're be you be drawn to those type of people. You know, somebody uh, thought that, you know, they could sabotage something because they thought that you was fake, but you're not. Like I said, so back to that, whoever that person was, somebody thought you was faking this good, lighthearted energy or this love, this, this peace that exudes out of your heart chakra. Um, somebody, you know, and I'm just going to, so for some of y'all, it could even be a race thing. Like, why aren't you acting like, and I'm going to say it, excuse me, if it offend anyone, you supposed to be acting like a nigger. You don't act like a regular nigger because you have all this love in your heart. So even if this is like somebody that is very racist, they want to tick you off so that you can act like a nigger how they feel niggers are supposed to act. That's what, how they even might talk about you behind the scenes. You understand? But they're the nigger. Because that nigger is a word and it don't have, it means an ignorant person. They're expecting you to be how every other black person is. But you're nothing like that. They're expecting you to be, like, because you got a fat ass. They're expecting you to be a whore. Every black woman isn't like that. Stereotyping. These are the people that's going to be magnified. How egotistical, how disgusting they really are as human beings. And how ignorant they really are. And they're going to have to pay for that. You're not faking who you are. That's why they jealous about that. It is what it is. They didn't put you through the test. And you still are acting upstanding. You're not acting. You're just being you. And they look silly. When I tell you they look silly, they look crazy right now, collective. Trying to find, find points on, aha, look, I knew you would. Everybody isn't confrontational. It's a lot of us out here. We are, people aren't confrontational. Like, oh, you walked on my lawn. I'm going to cuss you out. Like, okay, you walked on my lawn. There's plenty of grass out here. Have fun. You want to meditate? Is that the part? Is that the right angle where the sun hits you the best? You know. You listen to different music than they listen to. 
they stereotype you. This is some sort of stereotyping ass energy. And they should be ashamed of themselves. But they will be. Even if they're not right now, they will be. They're going to have to pay for that. It's a price behind doing stuff like that. Trying to push somebody to a limit. Because the universe is about to push back. So you don't even got to push back. See, God knows their weak spots. What's with, what they are really hurt about. It ain't got shit to do with you. It's their own lack within self. But don't worry, collective. These injustices will not be ignored and God will make sure he will magnify those injustices in their life. So if they start having weird problems health wise uh, with their spouses, with their that's just on them. Remember, the energy you put out is the energy you walk in. If you're putting out love, then you walk in love. So no matter what's being projected at you, you have a barrier. It's a buffer. And it bounces right back to those as their energy, not yours. You have a choice. Each and every one of us have a choice on an everyday basis. Who are we going to wake up to show up to be in this world? All of us. And if you decide to squander your life that you only get one of, With hate, that's that's your choice. Remember that choice and you bet not, but clearly they're going to be crying. You bet not cry about it when it happens to you. But clearly somebody's going to be crying. The poker face. Trying to act like they don't, whatever. They're going to be crying. They're irritated. They're agitated. It ain't you. I feel like they're chilling. Business as usual. Yes, you need some space in this relationship. But don't worry. They'll have plenty of other beasts to anger to, to go around. Because they somebody could work in a very toxic uh, environment or somebody has a very toxic environment they're gonna have plenty of people to argue with plenty of people to you know go to the the skibbity paps or have that little back and forth word with don't worry about it that that's what they like they're going to be placed with those people that they like they like drama they like negative they don't like love okay you don't have to have none of that but just watch it back because everybody plotting on everybody at that time <laughs> in their world everybody gonna be plotting on everybody in their world but y'all gonna be safe. My collective gonna be safe. Because you're working out of love. Somebody also know it's too late to switch sides, too. It's too late. They should have thought about that shit years ago. They should have got on a good foot years ago instead of trying to be a nuisance in life. And I say grandson, so somebody could be really old. They could be very older, very much so older than you, your senior. And they stuck like this, child. People need help. Whoever these people are, they need help, child. Yeah, baby. These people was holding on too tight to things that no longer serve them. And I don't feel like somebody holding on to you. They holding on to a, a place that don't exist. So they're holding air or some shit. I don't know what they holding on to. They don't exist anymore, though. They need to heed wise counsel. I mean, they gonna be heeding wise counsel. Why? I can't wait till the shift. They gonna be looking crazy as hell, y'all. <laughs> they are not prepared. If y'all not prepared, get prepared, baby. This shit about to be stupid for them. 
it's like walking amongst you, but it's like having a barrier around you and they can't get in. It's like they're going to feel invisible or something. This is crazy. This shift is crazy. And we got sweet memories. Yeah, somebody need to find a safe place to go. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If y'all ain't get y'all generators ready, if y'all in that type of neighborhood, if y'all ain't get... This shit about to be crazy. I'm trying to tell you. That earthquake was just a little piece of the... Okay? <laughs> it's about to be some other shit going on. Somebody need to find a safe place to go because they don't realize they are they are not safe. The past returns for a time. And now when I'm getting this past returns for a time, it feels like this has a lot to do with that. Uh, the last time these uh, folks showed up on this planet, um, night, they said 1942 and night, the last time they was here is 1982. Okay. And somebody will have to find a safe place to go. <sighs> yeah. The gift of sacred sight. Because somebody knows that somebody's been overstepping their, your, their boundaries and y'all energy. And your life is sweet. Don't worry. They're going to remove these energies out y'all energy. It's like. So we already know different things that was taught to us and told to us how the angels had relations with the humans and made mega babies, which would be the divine beings that are here on this planet right now at this time. And somebody could come from lineages, a lineage, well, most divine beings come from those lineages and it's like I'm just seeing like people being dragged off that are not supposed to be here and a certain reptilian um, species that's leaving oh yeah so I don't know what the hell these other motherfuckers gonna be doing <laughs> when that happened but it's about to happen it's about to be a huge shift collective So maybe that's why they so mad. Because <laughs> they know that they about to be dragged off. <laughs> of the planet. Literally. Uh, yeah, because the CERN... I heard CERN machine has already been activated. That could have had something to do with the earthquakes as well. <sighs> but you're about to be reborn. I'm telling you, somebody need to he's wise counsel. Heed wise counsel, little brother, little sister. We got siblings, younger friends, and responsibilities. Heed wise counsel. These people need to heed wise counsel because you know it's okay for you to be alone at this time. Also, if be careful who you click up with. Well, those that are divine beings, y'all already know, y'all good. You know, anybody that's like an alignment with that energy is is a you're gonna feel it. You know what's going on. These people, though, little brother, little sister, people that need to heed wise counsel and find a safe place to go, be careful who you align yourself with because they're going to try to drag you with them as they get dragged. They're going to try to take you with them. It's okay to be alone. Yeah. People going to be dropping like flies. For death comes rebirth. They should have got in alignment. Shit. They should have got in alignment. Because like I said, if they was wearing masks, these entities. What? Did y'all see that white dove? Damn it. Anyway, so that's confirmation, all right, for somebody. 
That is crazy. But somebody is needing to understand that things is being cleared away. They already doing their rounds. So who's staying, who going, who got, what, what part of, like how they aligning people. Is you on your mission? You know what you got to do? You find on your downloads, you got, you da, da, da. if you ain't on your toes, then whatever. It's okay to be alone at this time. Yeah, and guess what? Spell work ain't going to work around that time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you are, if you protected, you protected, irregardless. Somebody was hiding their true selves. Spell work, casting spells in the reverse. They can't use spells. They can't, if, like I said, mask off. Like, we're real. They can't hide who they were. If somebody was using a spell to hide that they're a reptilian, they're going to look like a motherfucking reptilian this day. Okay? And some of them just trying to collect some food at this time because they already know what's going on. But divine beings aren't falling for it. So people that's wearing different meat suits and shit like that, they can't hide from who they really are no more. No kind of spell is going to work. <sighs> mm. Yeah, things is changing in, in people's life right now. And your energy and aura is pure as fuck right now. So you can clear your mind. Those that energy and aura is pure already, uh, you can clear your mind. You're good. You're just going to move forward. You just keep going, okay? Just keep going. Because somebody confused why this spell work not working. They already worried. It's not, and it'll never work. It's over. So laugh a bit. Somebody definitely needs to proceed with caution. Somebody could be researching the occult things right now at this time. They could be confused. How the hell did you see something from a higher perspective? They could be confused about the person they hired. Why? How did they go the wrong way? How are they on the wrong path? Because of the reflection. Even in a scrying mirror, there's a reflection. That's how I'm seeing this new moon eclipse. New moon eclipse. Because we already in that dark moon energy. That shit, wow. Dark on dark. This is yeah. So somebody trying to figure out how the hell did you find your life purpose? Or somebody could be trying to use spell work to find a life purpose because they're hairy. They try they feel like they left behind or they won't be left behind. Somebody don't want to be left behind. What else? I'm trying I'm sorry y'all. This is longer than you know, but I'm gonna try to shorten it up as much as possible. Somebody was stubborn and stuck in their ways. These people that are stubborn, stuck in their ways, trying to use spell work to find their life purpose so they don't get left behind. Somebody know how important this transit is. I don't give a fuck. They know how important this is. What's about to happen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, look. They like, please, no, wait. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. They gonna be apologetic. These people that are trying to find, use spell work to find their life purpose, which is crazy. They was too busy being stubborn, stuck in their ways. They gonna be wanting to say sorry by that time. What else? Mm-hmm. Because they already seen some sort of signs and symbols around Christmas. They've been watching for the signs from the universe since Christmas. <sighs> so show gratitude that their access is denied. Somebody that was obsessed know their access is denied to the universe. And they really got somebody in their feelings. They was doing spell work and they all in their feelings because they're being, you're guarded, you're protected. 
And now they're seeing something from a higher perspective. They're at their breaking point because somebody thought they could catfish someone or somebody was not who they was supposed to be. They confused as fuck. Like, how is this possible? How did they get left behind? How come the stories in the Bible didn't say that this would happen? This is going to be the questions that they're going to ask themselves. How come they didn't say that this was going to happen like this? How come they didn't say such and such and such? Because it wasn't, they said it was going to happen. They didn't tell them when or how, who, what, where, when, and why. People don't, people for a very long time have thought death means dead, decaying, ten toes down in the dirt. Right? Somebody thought that's the only meaning of death. What they heard was when God come back, every it's going to be people that's going to die. It's going to be people that is going to be raptured and this is that and the third. And then all these people going to be left, but all these people going to die. Meaning a transformation. That's what the death meant in the, in the Bible. That transformation was the death. Okay. And somebody been watching for the signs and the synchronicities. Since Christmas. Because they know something is coming. They felt it in the air. The atmosphere changed everything. But these people have been stubborn and stuck in their ways. Thinking that they could use spell work to find their life purpose. crazy because they can't find their way home they can't find their way to something people clicked up collaborated i don't know why these people didn't just listen shit crazy to me it wasn't like god wasn't giving people the answers because he was it's up to you to listen now shit that's one thing about god he ain't gonna make you do a motherfucking thing <laughs> do it if you want Love if you want. If you don't, all right. Don't get mad, though. So somebody could be frustrated because something is on schedule. Something is right on time. Something is happening exactly how it's supposed to happen. We got Christmas. They already tried to throw a monkey wrench in, but it didn't get as much buzz as they thought. And they were targeting a certain group of people. If you haven't noticed, divine beings, okay, and uh, yeah, <laughs> because mm, 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 mm. that inheritance is a mug. You hear me? They wanted to hold on to that inheritance. Okay, when it came to a certain group, they wanted to keep y'all inheritance. Christmas. Yeah, this person could be fighting this person that did this magic. Because you still have inner peace. There's a lot of conflict going on because of your peace, man. Christmas. They did a ceremony. To cause conflict to your inner peace. You hold the light. So all of those that are holding the light. They tried to do work on you. Around Christmas. To distort your light frequency. So that you couldn't be an energetic match. When this portal opened. But you're an energetic match. Yep. That was a part of their plan. And they are pissed because it did not work. As you predicted, somebody is pissed that you are still fucking loving yourself. Oh, baby, this person is sick. They could be about to be very sick, very weak and fragile. Yeah, because a whole online community has some very supernatural shit happening to them. 
they're enlightened that something was only a fantasy here that they can put you in danger or some sort of fantasy put them in danger because everybody that collaborated on that network of grouping of people is under judgment seeing the signs and symbols that they have been stopped somebody see it is watching for the signs and from the universe and they know that they have been stopped <sighs> yep and we got to stop and we got a natural disaster. So what is natural disasters on this planet? Somebody is frustrated because this was a big risk. And they are waking that somebody remembered somebody, something about someone supporting someone. That's when it comes to somebody's attention as well. So somebody seeing the signs from the universe that there has been some sort of catastrophic event that has been stopped. Like these people was willing to destroy the whole entire world if they couldn't keep it. That's so fucked up. Damn. Watching for the signs from the universe to see has they stopped people from loving themselves or is there going to be an ending of someone that loved themselves? Because the plan was to reach some sort of goal by isolating you first and then having this professional do readings on your wealth and so that they can get as much evidence as they can that they track this family or track you so a family could be getting luck or something like that. But I, I, I. Because somebody's been watching you closely. They don't want you to hold this light. So they see that somebody has stopped a death of somebody that loves themselves. Or stopped someone from harming someone that loves themselves. Yeah, it almost came out. <laughs> Somebody stopped someone from harming someone that loved themselves. Yep. And they got a reading done. Loving themselves. Okay, they could have stopped someone from ending something here. We got real estate and proof. Your real estate is proof or evidence if something. Wow, that somebody could be going to jail. An investment. Somebody has proof. Investigation. There's an investigation going on about a network. How people came to do so they could have pretended something. Stubborn. Somebody that's stubborn and stuck in their ways. Yeah, when it comes to real estate, they were being very stubborn and arrogant about real estate. Somebody's wealth. All right. We got evidence and proof about a plan to cause conflict. Somebody had evidence and proof that somebody planned this conflict. Stubborn. They was being so stubborn. They got somebody got proof that somebody planned to cause conflict for someone's home or their living situation. Evidence. Yeah. So somebody has proof here. And this is this is not bringing some sort of peace. Somebody hates a sweetheart. Miss, like, I don't understand. Relaxation? So somebody could have got proof or is being investigated and they're not at peace right now about that. They can't relax due to a sweetheart's creativity. They lost and they could be sick because they connected themselves to someone they thought had the ideas so be careful who you link up with. So you somebody that became somebody male. So like literally this person could be losing vitality. Somebody that clicked up with someone could be little brother, little sister, somebody in your family, something like that. Because they thought that they were chuck full of ideas on how to do this to you. Or do something to you here. We got life purpose. Ego. 
whoever this person is that's in their ego is cursed with misfortune and they're worried a family member or this family is worried somebody's worried about their background because they did receive something in the past and now they're binded to a contract too so they gotta pay up for that too Life's purpose, somebody is in their ego, is worried now. Sweetheart, because a sweetheart has inner peace, so they feel trapped or tricked. Somebody, they feel like somebody tricked them or they're a victim now or they're going to be the victim because they had got something for this. Somebody gave them something, somebody gave somebody a car, some monies whatever <sighs> somebody could be now researching the occult things why Ha. Ah. okay what's this right here because they lost somebody could be getting getting sick because something is on schedule so somebody could have researched the occult things Somebody that could have been got bribed was researching the occult things because something is on schedule. Maybe the plan was to bribe someone and they lost. Whoever took the bribe lost. Pretty much. They could be feeling weak. They could be in sorrow. Bereavement, somebody might really pass away or some shit like that. Because they're the victim of something now. They're a victim. Because they receive, you received your desires here. Or because somebody, something was reserved for you or saved for you. You're going to get something because something was saved for you. You live and you learn development. Somebody is going to want to compromise now. They don't feel like this is a coincidence now because they're binded to a trap. They're binded to something because they promoted something and now they're getting the, their gift. Uh, something is being casted away. They could be being casted away. Because <sighs> mm -mm, like the I'm about to be up Shit's Creek without a pad. Because something is on schedule. Something being on schedule means that they're lo they lost. They could be sick. They're the ones getting sick. They're the ones. Somebody really could be sick. Like, for real. Ooh, yeah. Mm. The devil, y'all. In the Four of Cups. They missed the opportunity this lifetime to fix something. This is bad news. Somebody feel like this is bad news, man. They wasn't expecting this bad news. They're not getting an offer anymore. You are. You're getting something because something belongs to you. Somebody already told somebody this or whatever. So around Christmas, that was our that another Mercury retrograde that happened, and somebody could have tried to do something. I said they could have did a ceremony around that time to cause some sort of misfortune or curse you or some weird shit like that. This person is in regret now because they lost. It's coming towards these people. It's coming towards them now. Bad news. Page of Cups in the reverse. Somebody is definitely. Somebody's going to be very immature about something. They neglected their inner child. Page of Cups in the reverse. Seven of Wands. Very defensive. Okay. you Because you standing up for yourself. They not happy that you protected yourself or you are standing up for yourself. You defending yourself. I was coming in.
We got the chariot. Somebody definitely knows that someone is moving forward here. Somebody could be spying on you right now at this time. What's their obstacle? Three of Cups inverted. So gossip and slander. Somebody's very imbalanced. Okay. An emperor. People could be talking about this emperor. What's the outcome? Oh, nine of pentacles. I know that's right. Somebody single, self-sufficient, independent, happy, life is sweet, energy. Eight of wands. Somebody is telling them that. Eight of wands. This is communication. Somebody could have communicated that they missed the opportunity to do something. Something is over. So, yeah, don't let nobody hide in your light, okay, around this time. Let them go ahead and want to be who they going to be. <laughs> Yeah, we got the star in this in this the uh devil. So there's some sort of contracts of alignment. Something good is about to happen. What's the page of cups in the reverse? Yeah, they not they don't like this message. Yeah, something is very messy. Something somebody's all over the place. Somebody's feeling overwhelmed. Page of wands. Because they got a bad message or about something. Page of wands. Okay. Hermit. Somebody is getting a message that they're being investigated or somebody ghosting somebody. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Did not see this coming. This person, they found out a lot of information about the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Could be a Capricorn of significance. Somebody found out a lot of information. They couldn't, they couldn't hide something no more. They know they made a bad decision because somebody investigated what the Queen of Pentacles did. And they like, oh my God, everybody going to know what I did. Yep. Wow. And they are in regret, remorse, sadness. Five of Swords in the reverse. Because they can't cause a delay. Somebody feels stuck. Yeah, you standing up for yourself. Yeah. You know, somebody people could be disinterested in what this person did to you. Because they really after whatever message this was, somebody really really went and investigated something. And they like they ghosted this person. They can't believe what you said they did or what they what they found out. They like, wow, I don't fuck with so and so. What's the chariot? People don't want to be somebody's friend no more. What's the chariot? The moon in the reverse. Yeah, there's no more illusions. Some people are coming out of some sort of illusion very quickly. Yep. They dropping a the burden. Yep. This is a breakdown. Okay. Now that somebody, the moon in the reverse, but this is giving that new moon energy, uh, but... The moon in the reverse, something is being exposed to somebody. They can't hide something. Somebody is not in an illusion. Something is, they got a, it's a breakdown happening. Somebody could be having a breakdown, okay, about something. This could be a queen of swords in the reverse here. That could have been bitter, spiteful, cruel, harsh, okay. They could be having a, definitely unwelcome changes with the wheel of fortune in the reverse, Due to their cunning energy, they're not going to be able to get out of, uh, damn, this is bad for somebody. Yeah. Empress, you're standing up strong, though. So, whoever this is, okay, they're not going to be able to get out of the cold. They could be very much so depressed. They didn't make a practical decision. And they're going to be stuck in the top five of pentacles. Or you're coming out of the Five of Pentacles, Empress, and having a brand new passion and beginning in the sun. Something could be being shown about somebody's fourth house or how you had lack of support when it came to someone that nobody helped you. They just was watching you. That's why Emperor made a bad decision, right, to miss an opportunity. So people could have told your emperor, like you was a bad person and 
back to how whatever, if something happened with you in the past and this person, you know, felt like they made a good decision to walk away from you because of whatever, but somebody finding out that, no, -uh, an air sign in a, the, in a um, earth sign could have clicked up to do something to have you looking like you was a fucked up individual. They didn't win. <sighs> what is this three of cups in the reverse? Okay. So somebody wants to defend you. Somebody could be defending you. These people are no longer celebrating something because somebody's defending you. Something was unjust for somebody to try to cause an illusion on why something happened. About your losses. Somebody tried to cause a... Because uh... somebody... Okay, back to that. Remember in the beginning when I said something about you losing a child or losing something. Somebody tried to cause an illusion on why you was heartbroken. Three of Cups in the reverse. So somebody didn't... Can't defend themselves. They trying to defend themselves. But they can't because that was wrong. Somebody looking at somebody like, you wrong as fuck for that. To cause some sort of illusion. Just to cause this person heartache and pain. Put this person in grief. Like, why would you say that? Why would you do that to that person? Somebody could be really, like, defending you. And they're heartbroken. Third party could be three people or more that's heartbroken. People could be crying over you or crying about what they did to you. So maybe that's why that came up because they got some explaining to do. Okay. They like, why the fuck would you do something like that? Yeah. King of Wands could be telling somebody or communicating something or the King of Wands could have been telling somebody here about someone having another lover. Or choosing the King of Cups. Moving on. That's how why you moved on. But now somebody lacking that, lacking some sort of fear, like, oh, that's changing. That story, whatever somebody spun, that story is changing now. Because somebody's seeing someone as irresponsible. Who the real irresponsible? So the magnifying glass is going to be you was irresponsible in this situation. How you want them to feel bad about something that you were irresponsible for? This is what somebody could be asking somebody. So explain this because somebody went and investigated something. And this is beautiful because shit be right there in your face if you got any type of whatever. And somebody went and looked up something and they like, wow. So you had me doing ceremonies and this and that and the third. Making me believe that somebody was this type of person and this is that and the third. Because you wanted to seem like you was better. This is what somebody is saying to a queen of pentacles or a queen of swords in the reverse. Like somebody could have said you was just the worst person in the fucking world. That you was bitter. Or you was this. Maybe the reason why they did something because that's what they wanted you to be. But instead you chose peace. You chose love. And somebody did a reading and found out you was not faking something. That's another beautiful thing. So people can't even lie no more. Like, you was dead ass. Y'all really did that? You really did that to her? Or you really did that to him? Like, wow. Yeah, people talking about something that happened in the past. Six of Cups in the reverse. Why you left home? Somebody wanted you to be stuck in the past. They wanted some sort of communication. Like, oh, you stuck on that old shit or you this and that. And the third. Somebody wanted you to look like you were something that you weren't collective. Nine of Pentacles, man. This is wild. Nine of Pentacles. The King of Wands. So you being single, self-sufficient, and independent, this King of Wands feels like they don't know what to do. They refuse to change. Their cycle is over. It's not over. This person is stuck in a cycle. They have lacked achievements because you chose to be single, self-sufficient, and independent. And whatever action somebody took, if this is just an action or this is a person, they haven't completed cycles. So there's no reconciliation and they can't bring something back into uh, balance because they was very reckless by lying on you. So that you didn't receive something. But now there's an emperor that is well aware of what the fuck this person did. Who the king of wands? So it could have been a 
Queen of Swords in the reverse, the King of Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and the King of Wands of significance in this situation that was trying to do something to y'all. The Emperor, the Devil, wow, and the Star. They wish that you would have did something impulsive, but you didn't. The truth is shocking the fuck out of somebody. So there's the truth. The truth of why somebody moved to more common orders is because somebody was selfish as fuck. So once again, why are you not holding on to something that hurt you? Because somebody was already being selfish. It's like, pry it out my hands. If you want it, take it. Let's play a game. Ha, 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 ha. Joke's on you. Let me do this. Let me do this spell work on you while you try to fight for this. Why you do Like, somebody wanted you in a constant cycle of back and forth. But you was like, man, I'm not doing that. I'm going to choose love and put it in God's hands. And they like, what? All right, well, I'm going to tell everybody that you're a horrible person. And I'm going to tell everybody you don't care about... Yo, what happened to your child? Or I'm going to tell everybody that you don't care about them. You don't do this. Something like that. I don't know why children is something significant. This could be somebody's child's father. This could be um, something about, uh, like I said, if you, God forbid, like if your child actually is not here anymore or a, a messy divorce or something like this person could have had more backing than you or they had some certain people on their side or something like that and they tried to make you fight for something people are starting to see why you didn't fight as hard like you fought but you knew when to back the fuck up somebody was like no because their whole objective was to okay and you so just imagine you going back and forth. If you're in this person, so back to that energy projection. It's something about the energy. They can't connect it. They can't say they doing some death magic on you. You know, it's not hitting you because you don't have no connection to these people. This could even be your father. You don't have no connection to this person, so they can't do what the magic was going to do. So, if, but if your energy was all over the place and da 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 da, da it will be more effective. But your energy is not. You chose peace. What's the emperor? The king of pentacles. So the king of pentacles, damn, who is these people? They know you're free. Ace of pentacles, you're about to receive something. And someone that was being arrogant, trying to cause conflict, you're about to get some sort of communication, Empress, that the fight is over. Somebody could be getting communication, why somebody gave up to have a brand new passion to begin in somebody. So whatever this is, something is being illuminated about your strength. So what somebody did to make you look weak is actually made you look so fucking strong, bro. Like, I see why you're not stuck in your head. I see why you're not stuck on something. I see why. Somebody not stuck. Somebody is seeing something now. It's a lot of people involved. And somebody is really seeing something from a higher perspective. And somebody could be crying. Wow, the police could be watching somebody on Saturday. Wow, a karmic male needs a lawyer. Wow, y'all. Wow, because they know you know what they did to you. People are seeing what this person did to you in the fall. Oh, my, my, my. They could have hacked your devices. Okay. E. They still in love with you for real, for real. So a hacker is being seen right now. Somebody that's not of the light. He was mad that you walked away from him, so he wanted revenge on you. That's why you decided to stay single and choose new love. They didn't mean what they said about you to others. People are starting to find this out. This is some big-ass laws. Somebody got little dick energy, Chinese man or woman. 
We got unfinished business and love with a water sign. There could be a postal worker that could be going to jail or getting fired for stealing your mail. If you're a water sign, they know they messed up bad. Yeah, your neighbor. So your neighbor could have had an unhealthy obsession with you. They fucked up. So they could have been working with the mailman. Okay? And they fucked up. They fucked up bad because he tried to set you up. That's wild. Yeah, somebody is afraid you're going to reject them. You got big money coming in. This person is being getting blackmailed. Somebody going to try to blackmail somebody now. So they go that, that, that crabs in the barrel, that takedown. So you might have a Chinese man or a woman for a neighbor that was working with a... Uh, mailman they going to get something they tried to set you up okay back like i said and that's sad because like i said they could be calling you the n-word or really like somebody could be a different race than you um in whatever way you are wherever you are in the world whatever your race is somebody was doing all of this because of you know what they don't like this person could be going to jail for trying to steal your identity. They was low-key jealous of you, a Leo. They feel so bad for what they did to you now because it's like if they had a poker face however long this been going on, they, they ain't got no other choice but to show their emotions. They feel really bad now, okay? Yeah, because they wanted to be with you bad, your son or daughter. All evil eyes is going blind. That shit crazy. Um, so back to that, if y'all was fighting for custody or something, your child really wanted to live with you, your child really wanted to be with you, but this person did the absolute most to make it look like you were a horrible person. Everything is backfiring on them and they and their group, everybody that worked together to do this. So what did they think? To do something like that to an innocent being, what you thought was going to happen, it ain't even about the role model. You did something to innocent people. What you thought was going to fucking happen to you? You thought you was just going to be skipped to my loo? Hell no. Hell to the nizzle. Okay? Hell no. We got an Aquarius on Friday. Something about DHS or CPS. I'm telling you, y'all. They tried to hex or curse you. It's backfiring on them. Throat chakra magic is backfiring on them today. Return to sender times 10 today. Voodoo death spells today. They fucked up. They can't block shit. So that's why somebody could be getting sick. All right. Somebody could have did a spell to cause illness right around this time with this uh, weaning crescent moon or something like that. And somebody is sick now. They could be afraid they're going to, you know, check, which they probably will. Because you shouldn't have never did that. Leaving them behind was the best thing for everyone involved. Absolutely. Because who the hell want to be around somebody that only reason why you're in that energy or even around them is so that they can take you out. They only wanted to do work on you. They was never going to compromise with you. Never going to reconcile with somebody. Never was going to do none of that. Their whole agenda was to do work on you. A Gemini on Sunday. Leaving them behind was the best thing. We got a Virgo. Shit, wow. Take your time. Don't rush. Absolutely. Somebody was GPS tracking you, but you have a divine bodyguard. They asked a friend to watch you. That's why they, when they, they fell in love with you. They wanted to invoke fear. You mean everything to them. Your divine bodyguard. A Aries. They are shook. They see you going through a body transformation, getting fit. Somebody about to ghost somebody or somebody that ghosted you is coming back around. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, they want to talk about everything now because a Filipino man or a woman money is blocked or something like that. 
Now somebody want to talk about something. Somebody got a green, turquoise, tan, brown, burgundy car. They walking away from a karmic. She walking away from a karmic. Somebody is so in love with you for real, for real. They know that somebody is walking away from them because somebody want to be with you. Whatever they told your emperor in the past, they realized everything was lies. If this was what they told the emperor about you, somebody's no longer stuck. They hired a male practitioner to block your path, a Pisces, on Thursday. So a Pisces could have hired a male practitioner to block your path. And they lost everything for coming for you, Libra. This warfare is over. I'm sorry, Libra. Uh, they was stalking you at a gym. Somebody could have stalked you at the gym. Somebody with an STD. They got a green, tan, burgundy, whatever. They can't get over you at all. But you're about to get a pay raise. Because they tried to rob you or they did take something from you, you're about to get it back times 10. Zaddy home, let them know. Earth sign is in love with you. you know? Somebody that's stalking you as a celebrity. They know they created a mess and was hoping somebody can help them fix it. Somebody want more than sex with you. What else? But religious belief systems could be getting away when it comes to an organization. And she is being mad that he walked away. She's walked away from the karmic. Somebody that has that's in a coven organization or a secret society. They know they can't bring they spend the night bag. They wanted to unfinished because you have unfinished business in love with a fire sign that has to make it right to you this lifetime. Yeah, five years ago, something was supposed to be made right about something for five years ago, whatever happened five years ago. They about to learn a hard lesson. Whoever this secret society organization coven people is, they know you are a hundred percent heterosexual. Okay, a air sign. Somebody that has unfinished business in love with an air sign is 100% heterosexual. Somebody uncle knows that. You're about to have a new beginning. Okay. We got a white man or a woman here. Heart chakra magic backfired. G. Somebody could be getting the police involved or a police officer. A white man or woman could be a police officer. Somebody can't stop missing you. Yeah. Because maybe somebody tried to rob somebody. That's why they tried to rob you. What? <laughs> because they can't stop missing you. So the feds is watching somebody. Somebody could work for the feds or some shit like that. Damn. Something backfired on somebody times 10. A niece or a nephew or a cousin. Because they know that you are the true empress. Somebody can tell. Okay. This person could drive a truck of some sorts. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, these people going through a horrible backfire could have caused them some legal issues and everything else. The cancer could be involved as well. All right. I hope this helped. Have a blessed day.